Hello! Hi! Because this is a different kind of video today. Uh, one that I do not think is going to be 4K because it will take forever to upload and by the time I upload this to 4K, it will be tomorrow. So the recent Mario 3D World trailer has recently came out and I just want to analyze it for a bit. We're not going to react to it because I already saw this while I was doing my Zoom meetings for school today. Blame school if you want a reaction video. Blame school, yes, mm-hmm, yes. Without further ado, let's just analyze this for a bit. Alright, now I just want to say how gorgeous this game looks. Oh my swells! This game is basically Mario Odyssey 2 mixed with Super Mario 3D World. I mean, technically, this is Super Mario 3D World, so. My bad, I guess. And I am a bit curious, is this going to be like a one level thing, or is this going to be an entire DLC adventure? Because this is supposed to be like the big old Super Mario 3D Land DLC. Only time will tell once we get into the game. But one thing that I am really excited about is Bowser Jr. is going to be accompany us. And I haven't played 3D World at all, okay? I have not. I played a little bit of it on my friend's Wii U. I, I played some 3D World levels in Mario Maker 2. But besides that, I have never played 3D World. I, I want to play 3D World. I want to, for the life of me, want to play 3D World. But Bowser Jr., as far as I know, has not been in the original 3D World. As far as I know, it was usually one of Bowser's more higher elite minions, and then the big bad Bowser turns into a giant Nekomata. I never knew he was a fairy. First Mario was a fairy, now Bowser. Uh, he just followed Mario around, attacked some enemies. He does like a little painting of a question mark block, and he gets like a boomerang suit. Uh, I don't, I'm excited to see how that plays into the thing. Is it gonna be an NPC or a playable character? That's one thing that I really want to know. That's the most important thing I know. Is he playable? Is he playable? I want to know if he's playable. Also, he's got a little paintbrush back! Yeah! I haven't seen that since Mario Sunshine. As far as I know, he hasn't had a hold of paintbrush in the mainline Mario game in years. So it's exciting to see that he gets his paintbrush back. But of course, we have to get to the most important thing in the trailer. Oh my swells, the giant Bowser. The giant Bowser fight. This is obviously going to be the final boss of the DLC. We got some Mario accompanying some little, little Nickels before he attacked Bowser. And I just want to say, the design for this new Bowser is so much better than the original final boss. This looks like Bowser's final fall. This is actually threatening. Like, once he awakens, his spikes fall from the sky, lava's everywhere, turns all the cats evil. Oh my god, there's like a big old chase scene. And then he's like attacking Mario. He destroys the coin blocks, creates some coins. A lot less coins than I thought it would be. There's a big old giant cat bell in the center. Mario jumps down and does all my spells. He becomes Super Saiyan. I'm not even joking. It's literally Mario becomes Goku. He, he turns into a giant Neko, and he just becomes Goku. Now, if I... We've memed about Super Saiyan Mario for years. Super Saiyan characters in general, but... Now he's literally Super Saiyan. But that's basically it for the trailer. What do you guys think? Do you want me to do more videos like this? Do you, Are you guys excited for Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury? I know I am. Do you want me to do a Let's Play on it? I might be a few weeks late! Considering how long it might take to get to the DLC, and the fact that I'm low on funds due to the Bugster virus. But let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, I'm this guy's the Ask Cat, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out, Mimsy Dear Show! Please never say cat. Live life your own way. Stay safe during your try times, and I'll see you all in the castle. Adieu!